um, Taiwo Barua. Lagos State Government is committed to its effort at making the state of food value chain destination which research with research, production and market access distribution. Commissioner for Agriculture, Bisola Lusonya, while rendering an account of the ministry's activities in the last one year, noted that the Babajidi Songwulu administration procured 20 tractors and complementary accessories and as well provided mechanization services to over 3,000 farmers for enhanced food security. Ulusoya said the governor, Songwulu's administration has rolled out different initiatives like the Onjeku Sunday market across all the local governments of the state with a 25% discount on food items and the recently launched Eco Cares in which 435,000 families will benefit from the food packs and staple foods to question the effect of current economic challenges. He stated that the agriculture sector contributes about 7 trillion naira to the state annual gross revenue generated. The key solution to stemming inflation, like I said, it is multi-dimensional, but market is an integral part of it. Market helps to streamline activities, market helps to bring transparency, and market helps to dimension properly the solutions that should be offered to problems. And once a farmer is assured of pricing, once a farmer is assured of uptake, nothing stops a farmer from putting in more effort, more money into production. Assurance is what is needed in the game, and as such, we begin to see financial sector also coming to the fore and giving the right support to what is required. Ondosoyo hinted at the provision of a mid-level food hub in Idiru Mushi and the ongoing construction of 200 hectares logistics food hub in Epe, with Governor Songulu's approval for seven additional ones in Agegi, Abijo, along Lake Epe Expressway. Opebi Aboliadu Ikurudu for aggregation, storage and packaging of food items and products. With a lot of public-private partnerships, including Commodity Future Exchange, Niger State Collaboration on Rice Production, UK Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office for the Coconut Value Chain, Ulusoya said the state government has been able to further advance food system and security. In the same vein, Special Advisor to the Governor and Rice, Roti Mifashola, noted that the Lagos State Government is intensifying efforts to increase rice paddy to the tune of 200,000 200, metric tons for the motor rice mill to be functional. The aim and the objective going by the roadmap we have is that Lagos State will give us at least 20% of what we need, Southwest will give us 40 to 50% of what they need of the party, and the rest can come from the rest of the country. Because of the size of the past, our mill, there is no one area that can give us all. But we're partnering with the private sector, with the state government, as well as individual farmers in that need. Our correspondent, Adia Lakinele, quotes the Commissioner of Agriculture as advocating the celebration of Farmers' Day to encourage farmers and promote their roles to enhance food security. Following a recent gas explosion in the Ajerami, Falodo area of Lagos that resulted in fertilities, the Lagos State House of Assembly has called on concerned ministries, departments and agencies of government to step up enforcement of safety laws to protect lives and property. The House at Plenary presided over by the Speaker, Moda Shorobasa, tasked the ministries of physical planning and urban development as well as special duties to up their responsibilities to ensure that lives are protected against sales of comfortable substances in residential areas. The lawmakers frowned at the proliferation of gas shops across the state and asked the Lagos State Safety Commission not to compromise an enforcement compromise on enforcement of laws regulating the activities of such outlets. The House also urged the government to support the victims in the form of relief materials. It will be recorded that the gas explosion led to the death of 15 residents with at least 35 others sustaining injuries. 
The Lagos state government says the recent ban on the usage of styrofoam was born out of the government's commitment to protect the environment and the well-being of the good people of the state. Commissioner for the Environment and Water Resources, Dr. Mawahab, who made this known at the Nigeria Plastic Solution Activity Lunch held at the Landmark Conference Center, saying it is an inevitable decision that is already yielding positive results. Wahab said one of the most pressing issues affecting the environment and planet is plastics pollution and Lagos as a passionate steward of the environment is desirous to join millions of others to confront the challenges of plastic pollution and its adverse impact on the environment and public health. He stressed that plastic pollution is not just an environmental issue, it has also become a social, health and economic issue that requires collective commitment of everyone who is sincere about protecting the planet. The Lagos State Office for Disability Affairs, Lasoda, has reiterated the agency's commitment to prioritizing the welfare of persons with disabilities, PWDs, and fostering a more inclusive society. Lasoda General Manager Adenuke Oyetunde Nawao called on stakeholders in the disability community to advocate policies and initiatives that promote diversity, equity, and inclusion in the workforce. Uyutuni Lawa highlighted the importance of inclusivity and the huge role it plays in the growth of the economy while enjoining employers of labor to endeavor to include a percentage of persons with disabilities in their organizations. And that's it on the state news at 7, but just before we go, speed thrills but cues. Please do not drive beyond specified speed limit. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms, X. Traffic Radio 961, Instagram Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and program live on YouTube at Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website at trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that's the sole administration supplied 86,000 dual furniture sets to 775 public schools? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. For contacts with the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. That ends the news broadcast compiled by Adewali Oluoporoku. I am Taiwo Barua. Thank you for listening. Good evening. Need to navigate through the nooks and crannies of Lagos.